It's your homie Brian. And it is your boy John. What is up? John, my guy. What is up with you? <laughs> Ain't much. You know, same old, same old. All right, all right. Good to hear. Sounds like mm. you're doing well, sir. Yes, as are you. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Episode 28 All Day I Play Radio. Yes. You know. Climbing up higher there in the numbers, John. Mm-hmm. So basically season two, episode three, are we still doing that? Or are you still doing the anime thing? Oh, oh I'm just... still doing the anime thing, John. I forgot, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not going to be able to keep up with that, you know, and okay. I don't know if there's an optics thing with it, John. I just at some point want to have like 10 million, you know, episodes, you know, and I feel uh, like we'll get there every time, you know, I we start uh, a new season at episode one and then we reset john and i don't mm-hmm. i don't want to do that i don't know maybe one day one day well, you, i mean that's what i'm here for i'll announce it every time yeah. i'm keeping track you know yeah there you go and you can go yeah. you can go back one day when we decide like okay we will you know and you can go back <laughs> and put all of these in order you know yeah yes totally jonathan moon ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i'm here such a uh gentleman and a scholar sir oh very, very scholar sweet. Very studious in his in his oh, labor, man. you know what I'm These saying. Words, thank you. Oh shucks, man. You know I mean? Thanks, man. You know, hey, you know, I did really bad on my SATs. So did I. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. Yep. I was like, why did I even? <laughs> yeah, I went to like all these courses and everything, like wasting my Saturdays in junior year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the PSATs. The PCZs. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Those. I uh, I think about you know the olden times, you know. From time to time, you know, whether it's gaming wise, you know, we were talking about a crazy taxi last week. Oh, man. Um, which which uh, I bought, John. So uh, <laughs> you said you were you said you were going to do that. Yeah, yeah, I bought it. It was on Steam for only eight ninety nine or eight. It was either eight ninety nine or just plain old eight dollars, John. I don't know why I still kind of feel that was overpriced. Eight dollars. <laughs> But are you enjoying it? Did you, did it, is it a blast from the past for you? Or? It is a blast from the past. <laughs> and it's like cool because it's like, you know, I don't know. You know, back in the day, you know, you being the arcade and the arcade mm-hmm. was definitely where it was at when it comes to technology, graphics, sound, you know, all that from hearing combo breaker, you know, across an arcade. <laughs> from across, yeah. <laughs> you know, to. <laughs> You know, you're just looking at, you know, Mortal Kombat in the arcade versus, you know, your home console and its limited frame rate ability and terrible color schemes and sweat, and did you do sweat this, for like, blood. Like, did you do this when, like, did you scout around for competition? Like, did you, like, I would go to Mortal Kombat, right? And I'll uh-huh. see somebody with, like, Striker and just do, like, a 30 hit combo. I'm like, nope. I will go to Street Fighter over here <laughs> against this 11 year old. <laughs> I mean, normally, when, normally, whenever I was at the mall or at an arcade, it, it there was there was such a crowd that I, I normally didn't get to play anyway. And oh man! And personally, as a as a, as a growing up, I didn't like you know, I was never a fan of the arcade stick. Honestly, like I just what because I couldn't really practice with it. You know, at home, I didn't have an arcade stick. I had you know, I had a, a SNES controller. You know, in all its glory. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. D pad on point you know what i'm saying um, one of the greatest d-pads of all time john i have a favorite but we will talk about that later in the show you john. know the deep the arcade john yeah yeah i had one for nes and i yeah. got it like with the tmnt arcade so it felt like I, I was there i was like six so i was like they have this oh right. my god i played it i beat that game like five times and it was probably super light too it was like mm, well, back then, because I was younger, yeah, it was, you were it was six, pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I had that on my lap, and my legs would fall asleep and shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth it. Totally worth it. Hey, man, that's uh, 
That's A1 right there, brother. You know, I never mm-hmm. had a... I got an arcade stick probably on uh, when I got an Xbox 360. And I was playing, what, Street Fighter 4? That was on 360, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So I had an arcade stick for that because I was like, I want to get back, John. I want to go back to my roots. You know <laughs> what I mean? I was like, I'm going back to when me and my brother would be playing every fighting game the SNES had to offer. And we're going to do it now in the new generation, which at the time was 2006 or seven when that came out or eight, whenever. I was like, I'm going to come back, John. I'm bringing it back. Fighting game B is back, John. Was that the only game you played uh, with the arcade stick, or did you play other games with it, too? Nah, that was the only game I did, and, and I was trash, John, so. So why'd you get it? Hey, you know, I thought I thought I could, <laughs> I thought I could relive the dream, you know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, those days were over, you know what I'm saying? That they were, uh, I squandered my opportunities by not learning how to count frames and all this other stuff that these, you know, yeah, that's super fighting. Just, yeah. yeah, that's that's competitive shit. I just yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have anyone to play with either. Just online. Oh, oh you know, I did. Uh-oh. I think I did use it on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom two on on three hundred and sixty as well. Damn, I had both those games back in the day. Had I known you, sir, I would have been on there with you. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe we'd be. You still have it. Uh, my 360. Um, no, the the arcade. Stick. Well, both actually. I no, I think the arcade stick maybe at my parents. It's a Street Fighter. <laughs> it's a Street Fighter Four arcade stick. It was pretty dope. I thought it was. I thought it was fly. I may have sold mm-hmm. it though. That was like so long ago. When I think of my life and what I was and wasn't doing at the time, jeez. And I saw the coolest shit ever on Instagram the other day. I'm looking for it now. That's what I'm like looking. At. Nah, nah, you're um, good, man. Is arcade? They have a ar- they have an arcade stick, but it's like. Hold on a second. Is it the one it's with like, the Capcom? You, well, it has everything. It has like 200 games. Oh, on I it. saw Simpsons. that. It, yeah, it's called. I'm I'm looking at it right now. I'm sorry. It is called Home Retro Gaming. Yeah, Home I think I saw that. Retro dot gaming on Instagram. It looks amazing. I'm going to buy it. I think I saw that. And it has like multiple. Uh, it's like big, right? It's like like wide. Yeah, it's huge because it's for two people. So it's like, you know, a good three feet, maybe two to three feet long. <laughs> you yeah. just, just plug it up HDMI. HDMI or USB, yeah, HDMI probably, I and it just assume. has all these all these games on it. Yeah, all these games loaded. It's like you know what was that thing called? Um, the Pi Junk, the Raspberry Pi. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that, but like an arcade stick. It has yeah. all these. It has like Marvel's Capcom Two, has Simpsons, has Ninja Turtles, like all of them. It, it, I was yeah. like, I need this. Your your game NBA Jam is on there, I think. <laughs> so you know, I want that, bro. Let me tell you something though. I've honestly been looking at um, these like thousand and one like you know handheld gaming machines from like mm. AliExpress for like you know one hundred dollars you know yeah you know AliExpress though yeah you know whatever yikes yeah they're like these Good luck. yeah I know you'll get it if you ordered it today you'll get it in November maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks really cool, man. I want to play some old games, you know. No. Memories, memories. Yeah. Do arcades exist? Like, like you know, besides Dave and Buster's, do they have, like, are they, like, out of... I know there's one in Philly, because Greg, you know, he's been on the show a couple times. Our friend Greg. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to him. Um, he had a birthday party in Philly, like, at an arcade, old school arcade retro really? place. Yeah. So I did I would, not know. I this. know if more of those were like around. I am. I don't know because I know there's none here. Really, you know, there's really there's none. none here either. Um, I mean, there probably is one somewhere here. Um, yeah. but yeah, Dave and Buster's. No, it's not an arcade. It's not. I don't. I don't. I don't consider it an arcade. Not in the. No, not. not in the classic. I feel. I feel like it's a entertainment center. <laughs> 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 you know. <laughs> That also sells, you know, pizza pretzel bites. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great combination you got there, you know. Um, but nah, Dave and Buster's is fly, man. There's one like I can walk to. There's one so close to me I can walk there. So you know, 
Sometimes Damn. after work, you know, I'll go and just sit at the bar and, you know, yeah, just decompress. You know what I'm saying? And I hear you. before I come to the crib, <laughs> it's right down the street, so I might as well, you know, a little a little, you know, go through the ducky way over there. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> the ducky way. Yeah, Is man. Or something. Nah, man. It's just like uh, the uh, little, you know, the little side street. You know. No. Oh. You know no, what I'm saying, Chad. Come yeah, on. No, I, I didn't. I missed that. So. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's, I like the ducky. Yeah, hey, I know. You know, you know I'm the sorry. The slang, sir. Hey, you know. Mm, yeah. My bad. Philly Yo, swing. I am obsessed Dang. with Dragon Quest Eleven right now. Yes, it is. It is a... Uh, I think you and I are pretty much at the same point right now. I just tweeted, like, the one game we agree on. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> It's, it's great. Yeah, I hated it last night. I was stuck last night in the first dungeon for some reason. I was like, oh, yeah, I can forge shit. So, yes. yeah, I went to forge and just tore that dungeon down. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of money. Doing a lot yeah, of, man. Doing a lot of fighting. Um, Have you been spending it? Yes, I've been I've been buying every every top of the line uh, weapon and or armor. You know what I'm saying? At whatever whatever armor and or weapon emporium, you know what I'm saying, that I come in contact with. You feel me, John? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yes, you know. I'm still on the de- I purchased it last night. Okay, um, John. I'm still on the demo. The demo was that long. Like, I got this is four party hours. members. I think it's more. <laughs> oh, world? Cause, oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm at the... the the two, the last two, not the last two, but like the two after Eric, the two right, girls. Right. Yeah, I got them. Okay. And it's still going. You know, I'm waiting for it to be like, okay, put in uh, the real one. It's not, it hasn't stopped me yet. So we'll see. Well, didn't you, you got it last night though, right? So it shouldn't, yeah. It sh- the demo should automatically just keep carrying over, I believe, right? It's just like, no, a, it's a different, it's a whole different app. Oh, it's a different like, file and everything. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. It's okay. probably going to stop me and be like, okay, buy the new one. You played enough. Okay. Yeah, well, but I'm ready for whenever that happens. So, but I love it, man. Yeah, it's so a, much. it's a it's a good game, man. It, it uh, it makes me feel uh, it makes me feel good to be playing a JRPG again because it's been a very long yeah. time and it's been a very long time. It has for you. Like, damn, I think John. I don't even remember the last one I tried. I mean, and when I say the last one I tried, Five. oh yeah, that's right, yeah. And Final Fantasy Seven Remake. Yeah, remake's not really a JRPG though. What? What is it? It's an action RPG. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Yep. It's a three D brawler action RPG. Touche, sir. Yes. So, John, what do we uh, what do we have yes. on the docket today? I guess you could on say deck today. You know, with the announcement from this week about you know you texted me this Metal Gear Solid reaching fifty seven million plus copies. Metal Gear. We will talk snack. We will talk about him. And his franchise, along with our favorite Konami memories. Yes. Also, we are celebrating another milestone, this time with Xbox as it celebrates its 20th anniversary. We're yeah. going to go, what we, we were going to go over what we enjoyed with the Notorious console for the past 20 years. 20 so years, bro. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gents. Bro, 20 years is a long time, bro. Bro, I, like, I felt, I was, I was kind of mad when I read that. Like, Why? Cause I'm old as shit. Yeah, like, I was graduate. That yeah. was a graduation gift for me, like the OG Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, do the math, ladies and gents. Yeah. Damn. Well, I know you know. I know the twenty years of uh, excitement and entertainment have been building up for you at the Xbox brand, you know, and mm. finally on the. Game Pass, uh, you know, boat, which is, you know, we'll talk some more about that. But, John. Yes, sir. I got a question to ask you, bro. Not about the last 20 years about, you know, but about right now, pretty much, bro. Okay, good. Thank God. Hey, man, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just want to know what you've been playing all day, bro. Dude, so I am not playing this any longer, unfortunately. Because it has been beaten okay. and conquered. All right. Resident Evil 8. Okay. Yo. It's over. It's over. You know, I'm uh I loved it okay. so much. You know, 
y'all thought I was going to say something else. No, I loved it so much. It was it was great. It was a it was a roller coaster. It was I can't get into it too much because I don't want to spoil. There's heavy things to be spoiled in that that I'm not going <laughs> to talk about. But you know the gameplay was great. The like I said, if you are a Resident Evil fan and you haven't gotten this game yet, play it on hard. Normal felt a little too easy. Are you gonna go back? I might go back. I might later on down, 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 down the road when it's completely like neuralized from my mind. Um, <laughs> you were scared. I was scared on one. One how this the second. John's um, texting me. He's like, "Yo, I'm scared." This the second yeah. area. I'm not gonna say who it is. Uh-huh. It 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 messed me up. It messed me up bad. I'm not with the whole Aww. theme of that, you know. But um, yo, it was worth it. I, I mean, I played it. Did get scared, you know? Get my adrenaline pumping. I yeah. mean, I wish you would do the same, sir. No, 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 nope, okay. no. Nope. B would not even share play with me. Nah, nope. Be not broad doing daylight. It. I'm like, you want to? <laughs> not doing it, yo. Mm-mm. Like just this trailer alone is it making you feel some kind of way now? Or you know what it is, John? It's just I am. I don't like to be you know, frightened when I play, you know? There are some times, you know, when I like to feel, you know, the uncomfortable hairs raise up on the back of my neck, you know what I mean? I get it, you know, because that happens sometimes even when I'm not afraid. That happens sometimes when I'm just in the zone, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I uh, the whole, you know, the horror genre, you know, probably comes from, you know, not growing up watching horror movies and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So, you know, nah, bro, I ain't going to watch you play it. But uh, okay. I did uh, well. I did look at, you know, the Resident Evil 7, uh, you know, app on my PlayStation 5. And I was like, should I download you? And I didn't, John. I downloaded Yeah, I didn't else. think you would. I'm like, did you? Because nah. that was just as... Uh... That one was scarier to me. Yeah, honestly, it had a more of a creepy factor to it, you know, because you're in the house the whole time. And right, suddenly, it's more cla- know, claustrophobic. Yeah, and it's like you never know, like the uh, the main villain, not the main villain. He was far from the main villain, but the main guy in that house, the father, uh-huh. he just burst out of anywhere, and you had no idea where he was coming from. Like yeah. this one didn't have that too much. So, so, it but was, yeah, it was less frightening to you, John. It, it it was it, it was less frightening outside of that second house. Mm-hmm. You know that was the only one that got me. They had some Five Night at what was it called FNAF. Five Night at Five Freddy's. Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I've had never, I've never, uh, I've never. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Like I, I've seen it. I have no idea what it is. My kids know what it is. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's a horror genre. It's like you got to put make sure all of the security cameras are not on or some shit. I, I've watched it. I never played it personally, but I was like, I don't think I'll play this. My daughter but, loves scary stuff, but is terrified oh, of it? scary. Well, I don't games. know. This is kind of graphic. She Very doesn't. Graphic. Nah, yeah, nah. She doesn't. I showed her uh, PT, the PT trailer, the mm. Silent Hill playable teaser, playable teaser by Kojima and mm. and you know Konami. Then you know. Uh, yeah, she, she's not at all. She doesn't want to play scary games, although she plays this game on her phone called Granny. It's just like this old lady who's like chases you. It's pretty, pretty scary to me. (laughs) Shit looks really scary to me personally, but, but yeah, like outside the normal, like, you know, zombie, you turn around and uh see a zombie or wear lichen in this case in your face. That was that was like the you know the usual Resident Evil shit. And it wasn't long at all, you know. How long it, it take you, usual. John? Fifteen hours, maybe. Fifteen? No, oh, that's not too mm-hmm. bad. No, it's not. I thought you were I gonna say I... like eight. No, that was the first one. Okay. <laughs> that was I'm not the first one. Seven. Seven took me like eight to ten hours to beat, but this one was a little. The I got stuck on some of the puzzles. That's what. Oh. Got me up. See, but, man, can't be doing puzzles man, and be scared, bro. Man. Yeah, especially when something's chasing you and shit. Yeah. So you had to like hurry up and do it. Yeah, but yeah, when y'all get to that second area, DM us at All Day I Play Radio. Let us know how you felt because it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't scare easy. So, but yeah, that got me. But, but you it was over. awesome, man. 
overall still not as if not as scary as seven. Yeah. Because again, that was like one area in seven. This one you go to four or five different areas. So it's like, you know, the first, third, mm-hmm. and fourth was especially the fourth one. That wasn't really scary at all. The second one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't say I want to talk about it so bad, man, but I can't. I'll tell you off air. You can tell but, me off air because I'm never going to play it. So. Yeah, you never will. Yeah. Nope. Like, I'm going to tell you the ending and all that shit. Appreciate but it, dog. You know. The ending's worth it um, to me. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say at the moment. It yeah. was great. If you're a Resident Evil fan, get it. If you're a Resident Evil 4 fan, for sure, 100% get it. Um, yeah. Yeah, 4 still the best to me, though. Still not my favorite. Four, four will always be in my heart forever. Graphics good and everything. Later, it looks good. Oh, it looked amazing. It was, yeah. And I think the thing that will mess you up the most is that it's in first person the entire time. Isn't seven <laughs> in first person the entire time? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a different type was... of, you know, like mm-hmm. your, your senses are shocked a lot more. When yeah, it's like you're really in there. your face. Yeah. Yeah, see, yeah. I can't do that shit, John. And again, with seven, you know, the dude would just spin you around. You'll be walking, you just get spun around. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, because you're trying to run away, trying to fight yeah, him yeah. off. Yeah, not even run away. You might be just picking up herbs and shit, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Where you going, boy?" And then For turn real? you around. Yeah, no, yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't have that, bro. I can't. That's it's the type so of that'll give me a heart awesome. attack, bro. Yeah, I can't. Dude. I can't do it, dog. Dude. I can't do it. I'm Take sorry. Take a shot and play it. No, that'll be worse. I feel <laughs> I feel that would be like way worse. I feel that that would be setting Maybe. myself up for failure, sir. Yeah. Might throw shot glass into the television, sir. Damn, can't have that. Nope. So just leave yeah, just leave it alone. Yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. Pick it up if you don't already have it. And uh we will discuss this more later on when I feel everybody's like, you know, got their fix of it. We'll talk about it later on the show. But I'm definitely gonna tell you about it uh when we get off air. Please, so. sir. Please yeah. do. So worth it. Absolutely. I'm not mad at my purchase. Good, man. I'm glad. You know, it's always a benefit, you know, when, when we make a purchase and, uh, uh, you know, it's it's interesting. I enjoy the now purchase. I, I make. Now I got those heebie-jeebies out the way. Hey, Let me ask you now. a question, sir. What's up, man? You've been playing something new, I heard. Yeah, I've been playing something what new, you bro. Be, what you been playing, bro? Tell the people, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I uh but playing this game is called uh Getsu Fumaden. Oh. Undying Moon. And so I guess it's a it's a remake from an NES game, John. Is it? Yeah, so it you know, you I I got the copy of the NES game as well with it. Okay. And but I didn't like open it up to see what it is, what it's like. I just noticed like when I was downloading it, it, there were two different games. I was like, "Why is this is the the old one?" Uh, I was like, "Why are two games downloading?" I didn't know which one to download, but thankfully <laughs> I was able to figure it out. But yeah, man, this is it. Um, you know, you play as this. Uh, oh, I like the art. Yeah, man, the art style is cool as shit, man. I was mad because. Uh, I didn't realize, John, that my textures weren't turned all the way up, you know. Mm. So when I recorded this, you know, my textures were on normal and not very high. And what system is this on? It's on my PC, John. PC. It's uh, it- it's in early access on Steam uh, right now. Yeah, I think it's coming out on Switch, though, later. Um, yeah. But yeah, bro, it's, uh, you know, pretty much a, um, you know, you're, you're, you, you lead the clan right now. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to hell. You know, and no, uh, no. yeah, you gotta save the clan and and uh, handle some From business. Hell? Yeah, you gotta go in there because I guess uh, <laughs> are they not there for a reason? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but um, you know, side scroller, um, definitely a, a a you know, it's a roguelike. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, as as you know, and I, I've I've kind of been pretty partial to those you know yeah you that's been your jam this year um, your third one yeah yeah this year yeah so <laughs> this month <laughs> yeah, yeah it has been my my third one within like the span of a month yeah this so i i uh i don't know man i i think you know so with this it feels more so like you know it reminds me of my my childhood you know remind mm. reminds me of you know like a 
a Castlevania, uh, shit, even a um, any side scroller, uh, Ninja Gaiden, you know, back in the day, you know, Strider, you know, got the swords, you know, you got different weapons, you get the umbrella weapons, you got some, some, uh, you see the staff there, the spear. Um, and they all, you know, function differently, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're able to pick up weapons from particular types of enemies. You can carry two secondary weapons uh, and two primary weapons, essentially. So, you know, you could have like your sword, you know, which would be your primary weapon. And then also right now, I believe I have the umbrella, which is like, you know, you use it as a sword. But, you know, you can use it. You can hold the button to block. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, oh, nice. you got different. Like a know, little shield. Yeah. Every weapon has different special special moves. And I'm still like really getting acclimated to, you know, um, how this really like like what's going on, what it is I'm picking up. You know, this is obviously like one of them side shops, you know, on your way through, you know, you're you're picking up money when you uh, defeat enemies. And I didn't realize as well when you like chop down those little signposts and shit like that. So if you're playing this, if you're playing um uh, I can't. I can never say the name without seeing, <laughs> without seeing it. I just can't do it. Um, yes, yeah, so if you're playing Getsu Fumiden Undying Moon, not to be confused with John Moon. Hey. Um. Then, yeah. Uh, I guess I suggest you read a guide, because because <laughs> I need to read a guide. <laughs> but see those things right there that I just chopped down. Those give you coinage. Um, these little signs right here, they used to give me an extra, uh, you know, health uh, potion. You start with two potions. You can only have two mm. at the most, at the max, you know. There's no way to level that up, or is that? I don't is? know, John. I have no idea. Um, and I've played quite a few runs, and I still mm. don't really, as far as, like, the progression system that they have, um, I still don't really understand it. But yeah, those are gauntlets, John. You can pick up gauntlets. And I, I've been um practicing with different types of weapons here and there, you know what I'm saying? Because uh it's fun, bro. Like the gauntlets are they're the shit, they're weaker, you know, but uh and then a lot of these like he actually has like a special move which I'm trying to start figuring out. If you can see when that kanji pops up, mm-hmm. if I hold um X you know, because I'm using the Xbox controller, then, you know, he'll do like this full screen, you know, attack. But, mm. you know, I, I'm still like I said, I'm still getting used to like what exactly is what. Um, again, like you have all these different, you know, these are secondary um, weapons. So, you know, you can use some cow drops, you know, you get bow and arrow. Uh, you can mm. use these little bombs that you have. You know, those are your secondary weapons. Uh, but yeah, man, there goes the umbrella right there. The umbrellas, the umbrellas is the truth, yo. Um, but yeah, man, I, 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 I'm enjoying it. It's, it's giving me that uh, Metroid Castlevania itch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, that, that just really enjoys to be scratched, especially if, if the, you know, the contents of the game that I'm playing, John, and the control system. Uh, sometimes, like this, never makes me feel like it's cheap. You know, it always makes me feel like. You know, like that right there. Like oh, I made that mistake. Too? Yes, he has a roll. Nice. Yeah, he has double jump as well. Um, so you he's equipped. Yeah, he's he's equipped and and the controls are good. It's just like for me playing it on the um, I don't like the Xbox One uh, controller like with stuff like this um, because I like to use a D pad. I don't like the mm-hmm. D pad. Um. Do I use a D-pad on this? No. Uh, I just don't, I don't know. I don't like the way something about it, it's like really the buttons are like clicky versus like mm. soft. So it just kind of feels like I'm like beating the shit out of my controller. <laughs> that was a total screen move right there. I don't know if you saw it, Johnny. But yeah, man, it's a, it's a good time. I've beaten the the first boss. I've gotten to the second boss. This is like, you know. This is like my my claim to fame with roguelikes. You know, get to the second ball, say can't beat the second boss. That's just it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, uh, but you know, um, I'm playing a lot of games, John. You know, I'm still playing this. Yeah. I'm playing Returnal. I'm still playing. You know, you know. You said missed this. Oh, I thought you said missed. I was like, what the yeah. hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
that unbeatable game. Nah. Oh, that's the boss right there. You know, right there. Dude, that crazy looking warp. Yup. You know, checking out my weapons. You know what I'm saying? Prepared. Right. <laughs> and I, I have, did that in Resident Evil Eight all the time. Yeah. And I still have no idea what I'm doing, John. I just, I just at this point, like mm-hmm. I'm treating it like a standard, you know, Metroidvania. You know, where I'm mm-hmm. just, you know, playing it like. Like I like I would if it you know I'm playing also on Super Nintendo Castlevania or you know Metroid. Um, I love that it does this. It does like that freezing and and I don't know what it says, but it tells me something. It yeah, bro. Really good. Yo, this game is the shit, John. <laughs> this game is all that, yo. And um, it just the second level is a lot harder than the first level. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I guess it's not a lot harder, but the challenge is definitely there. And like I said, it's not cheesy, John. Like the mistakes that are made are always my fault. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get careless. You know what I mean? Or, or I, I start feeling myself a little bit too much. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not rolling out the way. You know, because I'm like, it's not gonna hit me. You know? I don't know. Yeah, that's the nice. nah, not yet. That's the total screen oh, attack. You know. Yeah, John. Would you recommend, John? I would, I would. Um, you know, and and so like I was saying, you know, some of the stuff like I don't really understand what's going on at all, you know, and I don't mm. know if that's because it's still, uh, in this um, you know, this state of early access, or if it's just because like like anything else, John, I don't read, so. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, <laughs> well, or, or when I do read, it just doesn't really like you know. Cause, Cause, a lot of stuff I had to have hands on time with John. You get them little lunch bags right there afterwards. They'd be like, "I know you hungry." After handling my man, here's a bag lunch, Playboy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so those things are those are souls, and they like do something in the middle of the screen. These enhancement things, bro. I have no idea what these what this stuff is, yo. Like I just and what? like I need sixty of these green things that I pick up, and I always at the most only have like. 17 18 so awesome. yeah so you can you can upgrade and unlock the weapon you know so you get mm. extra stuff towards it but i john i just don't know what i'm doing right now sir take a step back read the dialogue and uh it might be uh might be right there yeah i probably just find a video on youtube i mean clearly and, clearly you uh, do because you got to the second layer or whatever so yeah you know i'll you know just something I was just playing it like, you know, like it's an NES game, you know, but I'm talking about the, as far as the, the, uh, you know, the helping well, he of, a, he has a bow and arrow too. Yeah. That's, that can be one of your, uh, secondary weapons. Nice. Yeah. I never use it. Okay. I use the kunai and I like to use the bombs, John. I'm a fan of the <laughs> bombs cause you know, just kills everything. But yeah. Bombs. Um, it was uh it's twenty five bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean you know, if you if you if you're into uh, you know roguelikes and you, know, you want to play something different or if you want like this, I guess these are other paths that you're able that open up once you beat the levels. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say what are these uh beat that pagodas one. or whatever. But yeah, if you want, if you want something, you know, to kind of scratch, you know, the retro itch, you know, a little bit, you know, plus you, you kind of want to play, you know, something with great controls. Uh, see how that man leapt at me, John? Yeah, he ran up, got yeah, done up. Yeah, he he hits hard as shit. Look at this like floating head thing. It's gross, bro. It's a lot. Of- Eyeballs well, fall out. Hell. Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Yeah, it's terrifying. Look at that. Did you die? I don't know. Nah. Nah, but when you die, John, there's like this um this really high pitched sound, you know, and, and, and it <laughs> like every time it happens, like usually when I die, like look I just fell on those spikes. Usually when I die, John, I don't expect to die. <laughs> like and then I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> like I just don't expect that I'm going to die, you know? So it's just kind of like this thing where I don't know. Like, I'm going. I'm playing. I'm mashing the. You're buttons. just in a rhythm. Yeah, and think, then yeah. and then I die, and it's this high pitched wingy. And every time I'm just like, Oh my god! Is it like Akuma when he gives you lights out? Is it like that sound? Yes. 
You know what I mean? No, 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 no. It's okay. not. It's not the why. Nah, it's not that. Right. Source. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I guess it. Yeah. Is it that? It's a very. Yeah. It's a very high bell. Very high pitched bell, John. Oh, okay. Um, it looks dope. Yeah, man. I, I I'm digging it, but yeah, it is it is unsettling at times. Like, look at that shit. I got burn. That's a returnal coming. Uh, you know, John. It's on the back burner right now. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna pick it back up. You know, it's not that I. I'm sure you are. Yeah. I just you know wanted to play some other shit. Got another yeah, yeah. Uh, another not roguelike. Like me. Just be stuck on the same game for like two months. Hey, you know, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing DQ Eleven, John Dairy Queen Eleven. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm, I'm kind of upset because I told you just before the show, like. SMT three Shin Megami Tensei three comes out this Friday. Uh huh. Might have to put that on the wait list, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get it released, but I, you know, I want to get it because if, if I take a break from DQ DQ eleven, you're not gonna play it. I'm never gonna play it again. That's what happened to Octopath Traveler. Oh, you know yo, I mean? you you still never beat that, right? Never beat it. Well, it's on Game Pass, so John. It. So if you want to download it on the switch. Xbox, yeah, I know. No, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, I guess that. Yeah. Money. It's okay. I appreciate the recommendation, sir, and the reference, sir. Oh, absolutely. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, just in case, you know, you wanted to sit down, you know, sometimes you want to play mm-hmm. stuff on, on the, you know, I I know myself. I, I, I like, a, you know, uh, Dairy Queen 11, you know, mm-hmm. but, uh, <laughs> you know, personally, I, I like to play, you know, on, on the on the television versus, I mean, you know. I have a doc, but, you know, I, you know, I appreciate yeah, the concern, yeah. though. Thank I you. I guess, you know, I, I always forget about the doc with the Switch. Cause, <laughs> yeah, you do. Because I always, I only, when I do play the Switch, I only play the light, so. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't use the Switch proper, you know, the, mm. the OG. But the last Switch you got was a Switch light, though, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm Sorry. saying. That's why I never think of the doc, because I got a light, mm. you know. Mm. And uh, that's what I that's what I normally play if I play Switch. I'd never like. The you were so amped when you bought that too. What the light? Yeah, he's like, I got a light. Yeah, because I was. What was I playing? <laughs> um, Astral Chain. Yeah, I was playing Astral Chain. I was Which real I hype. Want. Yeah. Do you have that physical or digital? You know that. You know the answer to okay, that right, question. Right, right. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, John. I don't. I, but... don't, I do have some physical uh, cartridges for it though, but. You know, my daughter loses those, or the, the you know, there's one game where the the somehow the the label is not on it anymore. Um, mm. you have to put it in and see what it is. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that, John. You know, <laughs> it's just um, inserting it in the <laughs> in the system. Yeah, right. man. But you know, I I I'm glad that uh this game here uh Fum- was it Fumadin? <laughs> I'm so sorry, John. Yeah, got some Fumadin. Yeah, always got to look at it. Getsu Fumadin, Undying Moon, as in John Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Um, that was. Do you think that's like a Konami great? Would you call it that? Is it too early to tell? Or? Um. Well, one thing, John, I will say. Hmm. It feels good to have a Konami game in my hands again. And then mm. two, for it to be like more of a style from, you know, my earlier days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when when I held Konami in such high regard, John. <laughs> um I mean, if you if you really think about it, Konami back in the day. Oh man. Man, bro, like for on NES alone. It seemed like almost everything was Konami at some points, you know, at least at least so. amongst my friends and in, in, in myself. Um, so let's talk about it right quick. Yeah. Yo, Konami. Yeah. With, you know, like I said, Metal Gear Solid sold 57 million plus. Yeah. As of what was it? As of March or as I of think, right now, yeah. it's 57 million plus. And that's just humongous news you know for them yeah, yeah i mean I, did, I didn't start i was a late bloomer with metal gear i still haven't played the first trilogy i started at four um don't attack me Filthy and uh casual <laughs> oh my god he's so 
lucky we're PG thirteen. No, we started <laughs> off. We st- I started on MGS four and beat four, got mm-hmm. into five. I played that you know mm-hmm. that Pizza Hut demo they called Ground Zeros or whatever. Ground, <laughs> what was it called? Yeah, Ground Zeros. That Ground. Um. Yeah, I loved them. I always wanted to get back into three, but I felt the I felt too jarring the graphics. I think. I just yeah. Never got back. Yeah, now, I think, now that I have the know, beta, I might. Maybe. I think you know, well, well, obviously, you know, and listen, Metal Gear Solid is the reason why I'm here today. Honestly, I'll be super one hundred. Um, you know, and Metal Gear has you know really changed how I how I look at gaming. It was like the first time that I really paid attention to, you know, a producer and Hideo Kojima, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, um, it had this uh, obviously, you know, this way of taking, you know, I guess I was in 10th grade at the time. Um, I think it came in like October um, 98. Yes. I think like October 21st, 1998 mm. or something like that. But um, yeah, it was the first time like that. You know, at that, at that point, you know, when when you would have like a, you know, you see a trailer for a video game, there's no streaming. Right. You know, you had to download, you know, either the the low quality, middle quality or high quality, you know, video right. from wherever. GameSpot. Right. <laughs> right. That's where I used to go. Yeah. <laughs> Real nice. Um, You know, for it to get this 30 second trailer, you know, it would take like you know, two to three minutes to download, you know, and, um, yeah, man, I, I, I literally watched the trailer for Metal Gear Solid back to back to back to back for extended periods of times, uh, during the summer of 98 leading up to, you know, October of 1998. Plus the demo came out that summer as well, John. And, it was just like this thing where it was like, yo, I have to get this game. Like, and before that, like I had played mostly like, you know, platformers, you know, like, and I'm going all the way back to, you know, NES platformers. Um, like what else was there? <laughs> you know? Um, From, yeah. Yeah. You know, I played some 3d platformers on, on PlayStation one during that time. Um, I hadn't played, uh, I hadn't played like Final Fantasy yet. I don't think. Mm. I may have. I may have played Final Fantasy that summer. Um, summer of '98. Nope, no, I didn't. You know, I was playing like wrestling games, John. I was playing like you know. Oh, SmackDown. Nah, yeah, the SmackDown wasn't even out. What was it Warzone? You know. Oh my God, an attitude. Yeah, <laughs> just playing them. <laughs> you know, most of the stuff I was playing leaned you know more to like sports. And yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and I, and even then, I didn't really like those games, you know. But Metal Gear like made me like be like, this is what gaming can be. It can be like this storybook that I actually get to partake in, you know. Right. And so like that, that really changed gaming for me, and that made me like go crazy for stories. Which now, I just kind of want to play shit and just play. And don't care as much which is why i I jumped into uh dairy queen 11 because i think uh i needed that i needed to get back to that yeah man you know just just so much you know we've been playing overwatch for like 20 years and (laughs) you know who cares about the lord (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah you know but um as far as like konami goes though like Mm. You know, even like pre Metal Gear, you know, NES wise, Konami was a beast, bro. Konami code, bro. You know what I'm saying? Dude, like, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B- a- start. Yes, man. Yeah. Yo, this is, this mm. is, this, these are things that, you know, again, like you, you know, that code without, you know, you don't have to think of it. You know, I mm-hmm. also know, John, I know the code to Tyson. From Mike Tyson's punch out still, John. I still know the blood code from Mortal Kombat 1. On oh, yeah. It was it Abacab, right? Yeah, Abacab. A-B-A-C-A-A-B. Yeah. 
<laughs> during the little shit that nobody reads. <laughs> and then Street Fighter had one on uh, Super Nintendo. See, I didn't know that. It was down R up L Y B, I think. And oh, what? I think that allows you to play. You could play the same character. You can already do that? Nah. Not on vanilla Street Fighter 2. Oh, yeah, no, you couldn't. Okay. The World I about Warrior? Super. Oh, yeah, no. I had Super eight Street characters? Fighter Yeah, no. Yeah. Vanilla. Go to the arcades for that one. Vanilla. But or yeah, man. Carry out. Would you what did you what uh what uh Konami uh what Konami memories do you have, bro, besides the code, man? But the besides the fact that TMNT gave me the original one. Um, with the water level, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Bef- besides that, giving me high blood pressure at age four. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I played Contra. Never beat that either. Yeah, I never. That beat was Contra. definitely the dark. Yeah, it was because it was Dark Souls of the 80s and 90s. You know, it was. You could, you only you could only beat it with with the Contra code. Actually, I think I did beat Contra. I think I beat it with my next door nation neighbor Jason. Never beat Contra. I mean, my best friend Jai never beat it ever. So, <laughs> yeah, like, we were like, did. "F it, let's put in." <laughs> Battle Toads, which is not much better. I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> we got slaughtered in that. But um, yeah, they. Uh, I'm glad they righted their wrongs with TMNT and mm-hmm. made our, the arcade game Hyperstone Heist, Heroes, mm-hmm. um, Turtles in Time. All you, you know, anything Turtles, I was obsessed with. Yes, so, I mean just bringing them out like that, and they even didn't they make the little. Uh, no, that was Tiger, wasn't it? I was about to say the little handheld things. Yeah, that look like a little spaceship, you know. Yeah, yeah. I had those um, big ass green one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> those is but, big as shit. <laughs> but yeah, I loved Cubert, uh, Castlevania. Okay, they did Simpsons Arcade. I just did that, you know. Found yeah. that out researching this. Well, you know? if they did Simpsons Arcade, John, does, did they do X Men? Because aren't they, they aren't X-Men. they all like the same platform? The I don't Simpsons? think they did X Men. Uh, Let me see. The Simpsons arcade. Um, I didn't know that was uh, developed by Konami. It was Konami. It was so that that X Men. Yep. Yeah, because they're all like the same. That same like four player. You know, the Ninja Turtles is the same thing. You know, mm-hmm. um, that formula. Mm-hmm, that four they just player. Just changed the sprites. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Well, add X Men to the list. Yu Gi Oh, the only the one on Game Boy Advance. Loved that one. Oh wow, Yu Gi Oh. Yes, I did. I was a Yu Gi Oh. Don't judge me. Well, I will, uh, sir. <laughs> no, I was just I was just at that point I was I was done with stuff like that, and I was mm. on to more violent animes, John. Mm. You know, right. what came out around that time? I don't know. Time? Um, what year was that? I was watching. Oh, I was watching. Um, a lot 03. Of, 03. How'd you make no Ippo while I was watching during around that time? You were raving about that a few up, like. Yeah, John, you know. A couple months ago. It's, uh, it's, you know, one of my favorite animes of all time. So, you know. Oh, Silent Hill was another one. Silent Hill. One I loved. Uh, Silent Hill, yeah. Did you like the Dance Dance games? Um,. No, I don't. Too. I don't. But you know what I did play, John. Mm-hmm. Um, back in the day, my brother, uh, he was dating um this young lady, and uh, her brother had a chipped PS One. Mm. Uh, mm. and at the time, I was probably like, you know, fourteen. Right. And he had this game called Beat Mania, John. The hell is that? So Beat Mania is a rhythm game. Okay. It is a very, very extreme rhythm game. Looks it, I'm just looking at it right now. This is the arcade machine. I think they had that at Magfest, and I saw it. I was like, probably, I yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> you know, it was uh, so I'm playing this thing, you know, I've, you know. So, so not only did I play that, I played like a whole bunch of other things. But at that time, John, you know, PS One 
um, I was really into rhythm games during that mm. time, you know, and it really, it really, what really kicked it off was Parappa. Um, oh man. Parappa just like, like, and that's why, that's why PlayStation has always, that's why people, you know, would be like, oh, you know, like you, you, you grew up in this era with Nintendo, but like you kind of don't really have the same like love for a lot of people who, you know, grew up around that era. And it's like, you like PlayStation. It's like, well, PlayStation sh- showed me, you know, there was a lot more variety for me to choose from. And, you know, being at the age where, you know, I could go make money to buy something versus when I was NES, like I completely relied on my parents to always buy me stuff for that. And they just weren't doing that, you know, (laughs) whereas I can cut the grass now, you know what I'm saying? I can go to work with mom and file some stuff for her, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, I used to go to, I used to go to work with my mom for $10 a day. And so at the end of the week, you know, I'd have enough to buy a PS1 game because they were $40. <laughs> Earn them keeps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My mom would be like, I have so much work for you. And I'd get done in like 10 minutes and sit there <laughs> all day. That was great, though. During- you know, you learn tact. You learn how to, you know. Nope. Earn. nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Gosh, I, see, see, you know, like- I was just trying to get money to get games, John. I was not at all thinking about bettering myself so here we are yep but uh but yeah <laughs> my my <laughs> konami john my konami yeah, what is b's konami so that. so there were so many konami games back then but john blades of steel which was a hockey game i'm not i don't know oh see that's why i'm like yes oh. Blades of Steel, John, and Double Dribble, which was a basketball game made by them. I know about Double Dribble, though. (laughs) (laughs) Double Dibble. They were phenomenal games, John. I remember Double Dribble, yeah. You could fight in Blades of Steel, bro, you know? What? Okay, I think I know it. And it's like, it goes to like this graphic of them like punching. Yeah. Yeah, like a fighting game. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I saw (laughs) the blockbuster. I always walked past it. Yeah, Blades of <laughs> Steel. That's how them games would be. <laughs> and it'd always be like, uh, 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 uh. you know, this is like this terrible kazoo. Oh, the MIDI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yo, who's playing the kazoo on this Nintendo game, bro? <laughs> this Casio keyboard. So. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey, dog. Who got the kazoo on my Nintendo tape? You know what I mean? It needs to get fixed. Yeah, bro. Konami was uh, Konami then decided to piss all of that away Mm. and all of their fans by just being like, yo, you know what? We can make these pachinko machines and don't have to worry about the risk slash reward if it happens from gaming. I think, you know, I think companies like that, you know, that were like powerhouses you know, back in the day, I think it was like, I think those times, the cost associated with like essentially making these new toys, because that's really what they were, these mm-hmm. new set of toys, you know, from from the 70s and 80s, you know, they, they were classified as toys They're not, you know, there were no, you know, late 30s <laughs> males <laughs> playing video games, you know, <laughs> like, right. It was not a thing. Um, but, uh, I think, uh, I think as time went on, the costs associated with, you know, and the risk that comes with, you know, having to make sure you have this surefire hit and, you know, that they weren't really putting anything out like that. They were just putting out, you know, stuff that Kojima was making, you know, in a star in international, uh, superstar soccer or whatever it's called, you know, <laughs> uh, pro soccer, you know what I mean? That soccer game that they got, um, you know, and some Metal Gear games and, and, and a few handheld games on DS here and there, you know, they don't mm-hmm. really they weren't really putting out anything like they used to. Um, and I think because, you know, so I I'd, I'd, I'd love this industry, but I'd never want to like. Work it. Yeah. Like not like <laughs> that. Not like, you know, it's it's fickle as hell. You know, 
You got people like mm-hmm. me who, you know, love cyberpunk one week and then two weeks later, I'm just like, damn, this is just not what I thought it was going to be, you know? I mean, you're far from the only one. Yeah, I know, but still, you know? <laughs> I felt that way. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of people like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just kind of like, ah, yeah, like you know? millions. Trying to please, you know, all these How people. How sell again? I don't remember, John. A lot like, of copies. Yeah, if it was, I think it was like 15 million the first month. 14 million of those were filled the way you do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't feel bad. Yeah, still. You know, it makes me feel crazy. Yeah, particular crazy, machines John. are easy money. And they, yeah. they popping over there, so. Especially if you got the market corner, dog. Hey, they have a Metal Gear one. When they you kill do. the woman. I forgot the, uh, wasn't that, wasn't that Big Boss? Was, was that her name? The Boss. I'm ignorant to that franchise, but yeah. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 is is the uh probably the best Metal Gear. Yeah. Really? Yeah, only but only like when they came out with the one where you could move the camera cuz without moving the camera it was pretty it's pretty uh it's pretty hardcore. I beat it, but yeah. How'd you like 4 and 5? Um 4 was cool but but yeah it was just <laughs> sometimes you know, like i love kojima but sometimes like i just be like bro okay like this convoluted ass story like snake is old as shit like why is snake old yo like why am i playing a geriatric old man yo weren't the nano machines doing something so it, it aged him rapidly but bro, right they're, they're, bro, they're, no, there's no. I'm defending it because that's like the only one. <laughs> no, it's the only one you played. You, well, Besides five, five yeah, yeah. And five is like not you know Metal Gear Kojima. proper. You know, I yeah. mean it's Kojima. Kojima made that shit. Half of it, most of it. I mean all of it. Is it until he got fired? Yeah, right. But they were done. The game were they? I mean they didn't finish it, <laughs> but you know they were done. You know, I don't know. He they, has a cameo in there. You have to find him. Yeah, it's Kojima. He has a cameo in all his games. He's he's very very into himself. <laughs> I know? mean, well, just, you heard uh, J Cole's new album. He dropped. Uh, he name dropped him and Metal Gear in one of the songs on his new album. Really? Mm-hmm. I forgot what it's called, but it's on his new album. I'm gonna have to check it out. I had been meaning to hear, you know, listen yeah, to apparently. it anyway. Yeah, apparently he loves Kojima and Metal Gear. So yeah, cause yeah, like a whole verse to him. So. Listen, man, you know, it's, like J. Cole. It's, uh, you know, when it comes in and, and even like Death Stranding, you know, like that's a mm. very different game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, another another Konami game that I really enjoyed, but I enjoyed the second one way more, uh, which was uh, Zone of the Enders. I don't know if you ever played that series. I haven't, but I heard of it. Yeah. The second one is way better than the first one. They're both what K- is it on Kojima currently? games. Um, you can get um, you can get the second one on PS4. I own it. Okay. Um, would I say that it's aged well? Mm, that was my next question. I mean, I think there's like certain things where you play. Like one, when I played that on PS2, man, there was a lot going on, and the frame <laughs> rates were dipping like crazy, and then oh, and it was like. They didn't even care. Like, they didn't fix it for the PS4? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay. But, um, you know, it's just the story is very anime, uh, very cool story. Uh, and, and, and also how, like, they tie Gra- Gradius into it a little bit with, uh, I don't know if you ever played Gradius. Um, no. It's like, it's like our type, you know, those, uh, mm-hmm. I think Gradius. So was this, I think Gradius. So was this is a the, mech game? Yes. No, pass. Uh, it's a mech game, but it doesn't feel like a mech game. It feels like an action adventure game. The only mech game I loved to no end was Virtual One. That was the only mech game I was Bro, obsessed with. I used to sit down at that arcade machine, put Bro. like a whole dollar in that man. You know what I'm saying? Bro. And at not Magfest. know what I was doing at all, bro. <laughs> at MAGFest, the line, it was always like a good three or four people waiting to play that game. 
Remember they right. came out with that that mech game on on Xbox that had the mech controller still battalion? Yes. I always wanted to play that. Oh, why? It looked too complicated. But that, oh, that's probably why. That's why. Yeah, like it's like it was like a whole like someone made, you know, I love Gundam. It was like 80 keys on that. <laughs> <laughs> was like fast yeah but you know it's just like something different man you know you, yeah it I was it made I, you feel when, when am i gonna ever pilot a mech uh, no, never no. <laughs> it's never gonna happen it's 2021 i'm 38 years old you know if 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 i was born in like mechs you know like if i was a child and mechs were out and shit like gundam was out i'd be in the military I'd be like, yeah, I'm a pilot of mech. I'm gonna, just, like, I'm gonna be the greatest mech pilot the world has ever seen. <laughs> I'd be a total anime, like, be the Deku of freaking, yeah, <laughs> mechs. I'd know? be all like, anime out like crazy and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Giving a peace sign after I dropped my foes. You know, I would be sweating. Oh, you know, I would. I would sit inside of my cockpit when something terrible would happen and I would cry, but you would only see, you know, the outside of my helmet mm. and see my body mm. shaking and knowing that I'm emotional, but you wouldn't see my face until my face turned and the sun gave you a glimpse of my the tears mm. rolling down my cheeks, John. You know what I'm saying? That's so how I, that's dude, how it would be if I was a I mech pilot. You. you know, that was such a beautiful picture you just painted, right? sir. And I'd be like, <laughs> no, 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 no. you know what I'm saying? Like all the no, time, no. John. Like literally all the time. But yeah, man. Um, man, patent that. That could be something. But John, you should. Uh, patent, pending, patent, pending. I'll uh, maybe maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll I'll stream Zone of the Enders for you. It it does. It's not a mech game. It's a it's an action. It's an action game. It's totally mm -hmm. feels like you know, uh, yeah. It's in it's in VR too, John. You can you could play it on P PS VR. I'll pass. I'm I want well. to, John. I, I want to play yeah. it on there, but I you right. know nausea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Were there any uh, like good Xbox Konami games? Did all these games come out on Xbox as well? Do you think? Um, I mean, like you know, Metal Gear Five did. Um, did it? Yeah, yeah. Metal Gear Five wow. came out on everything, right? I don't remember. I believe Metal Gear Solid Five <laughs> was on everything. You know, to the chagrin of PlayStation fanboys everywhere, mm. um, because they hate when mm -hmm. their game is on a different platform. Of course. How dare you put the game I love? on another platform so other people have the ability to enjoy it <laughs> yeah see it's on everything it was on ps3 and on xbox 360 jesus yeah no didn't know that yeah this game but came yeah. out six years ago but i'm glad you mentioned metal gear solid because you know with their astronomical sales record yeah. um Xbox is celebrating 20 years, dude. 20 years in the making. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, you come come, you know, far from the uh Halo Combat Evolve days. Um, <laughs> man, you said the whole name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but it was Combat Evolved, so mm. um yeah, man, I remember I remember I remember um working at um GameStop at the time. Um, yeah, it's a terrible place to work. But, um, <laughs> I remember working there and, you know, uh, Xbox about to launch. And I got hired in 99. I got hired for the launch of Dreamcast. You know, I was there. Oh, shit. I was there to handle the flood of new Sega customers, you know. Hey. Video games were very simple then, at least, you know, in terms of buying and selling. It just wasn't this huge market for them like there is now, you know, so. But sidebar, did you sell a lot of Dreamcast? Um, nah, not really. <laughs> oh, no. 
Yeah, well, obviously, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not not com- not uh, not compared to the PlayStation Two that came out a year later and had you know a, a midnight <laughs> opening and a line stretched out the door like crazy, and also Poor the EB Dreamcast. games upstairs. I mean, listen, man, Dreamcast Sega Sega was Sega was cool, you know, but Sega still was always very much on this like let's bring the arcade home type of vibe and it was like mm-hmm. yo the arcade can stay where it is bro like make me some new shit to play at home well, and we, you know they had you know they had a lot of a, a lot of games but i feel like dreamcast was a, a huge push to like you know bring that arcade experience home that we just like the arcades were like dead mm. already so like no i don't need the arcade home like just make me like a whole bunch of fire shit you know, that's not just Virtual Fighter. You know what? Ready Rumble came out at launch. Uh, Marvel mm. vs. Capcom came out at launch. Um, I think there was a Mortal Kombat game, too. Um, but I think it was like... Sh- Armor God and... Oh, nah, Armor God. I think it was Armor like Mar- Mortal Kombat 4 Gold or some shit like that. I don't know. Gross. Um, but there was a lot of, like, arcade-type style games for that, you know. And, and it was cool, but a lot of it... You know, Sonic Adventure was there. A lot of it was, uh, I don't think it had, like, staying power. It wasn't really, like, it was really, like, you know, Crazy Taxi. A lot of this, like, Mm -hmm. you know, where it's like, yeah, that was fun, you know, for, you know. Like, bringing the arcade home is not a good idea, John. (laughs) I mean, why wasn't it? At that time, you know, like, like you said, they were dying, you know. Yeah. I miss these. Yeah. Um, oh shit! I can play Soul Calibur. Oh shit! I can play Crazy yeah. Taxi. Oh shit! I can play. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? NVC two. So, mm-hmm. you know, I went. I took the longest bus ride to get Marvel's Capcom two for my Dreamcast. Yeah. Like the longest. Like I, I wasn't driving then. Right. So I had to get on like three buses oh, and a shit. train. Oh, <laughs> I was deter because that's when it was selling. It was so it was selling out like crazy. It was hard to keep yeah. on the shelves, at least in my area or region. Nah, that's it was that's, hard as shit to find. It, it, yeah, it was. It there were that was a hard game to get because they didn't expect to sell it like that. So like that mm-hmm. that was the crazy shit about games too. It was like if people didn't you know pre order, then you know publishers and you know they didn't know how many copies to really put out there. And like yeah, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Blue so Stinger, like John, you know, Blue Stinger. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know that one. It's a terrible Dreamcast game. <laughs> okay, that's probably why. I had, was Knights on Saturn or Dreamcast? Saturn. Okay. I always get that line blurred between, you know, them two consoles. How, John? I don't understand. How. I don't know, because cause I'm fuck, freaking in my 30s. <laughs> and yeah. That was like when I was 16. Yeah. My bad, but yeah, like no, but Xbox, congrats to them. Twenty years, and you know they're they're revamping like shit because I don't know what they were doing last last console, but dude, when I say I was a total Xbox guy, yeah, like you were there. Nobody tell me shit. I was there. Oh, I remember that nostalgic green goo, right? And that uh, (laughs) whatever that was, ugly ass controller. I actually like their controller. Yeah. It was hideous, but I like the feel of it. You, sir, are a savage. <laughs> Controller was awful. But yeah, I got the Xbox as a grad gift, yeah, graduation. I graduated in 02. Nice. It came out in 01. Yes, um, it did. I, my mother, I think, my mother stood in line, I think. Oh, snap. Yeah, I, I, I don't like, I, I don't, I was like, thank you, because I would have never, but. <laughs> why not? Cause I don't do lines. I don't do release get consoles. Even back then, I never did. I mean, it was a year later. So, or when did you get it? Well, I guess you I got, got it, it in June. So if you got it in June, you got it like six, like six months, months after it came. Yeah. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, my mind's came with like NFL Fever, Project <laughs> Gotham Racing, and uh, Fusion Frenzy. Fusion I loved Fusion Frenzy. Frenzy. Do you remember oh that? My gosh, yes. Dude. And Project Gotham Racing. Love Project Gotham Racing too. I actually like that name. Come at me. I like that better than Gran Turismo. I, I mean, there were, two, there were two different types of games. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because yeah. you know, I don't 
need this. <laughs> Project um, Project Gotham was an arcade racer, you know. Yeah, that's probably why I liked it so much. Turismo I like too. Turismo is a uh, simulator, yeah. you know, more mm. akin to the Forza, you know, motorsports series. John, that I never got into. That's probably why. Yeah. I like, I like you like Pro- you like Project Gotham. Yeah. Um, who's what's that made? Who makes it? Who made that? Ah, oh, shit, I forget who made that. Who? Project Project Gotham? Project Gotham because they made something. Microsoft else. didn't. They they published it, but they're not the developer. Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. Who? I think it's yeah. it's uh yeah. They used to be. It was called Metropolis Street Racer on on GameCube yeah. or GameCube Bizarre or Dreamcast. Made it. Yeah, Bizarre Creations and Glue Mobile and Ginky. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Okay, Bizarre. So yeah, they made it. <laughs> yeah, they made Geometry Wars as well. But dude, like, yeah, like I said, I was one of the weirdos that liked the OG Xbox controller. Oh, but three three sixty was my hardo. That was that is still to this day my favorite controller because that little diagonal piece. This is why I was in fighting games hard. So that little diagonal piece in between the down and the right or down and the left or up and you know what I mean. I hated the Xbox D pad until I got the. Oh uh, God. I got the that one controller where you could change the the D pad. You could like what twist that, it. That? It was a silver controller. I had bought like four of them because they kept breaking. The D pad kept breaking. I would because only... you could switch them out. <laughs> no, no, you couldn't switch it out. You could just like because you know like the original Xbox D pad like it wasn't like up down left and right like it was just mm-hmm. like this circle essentially. Yeah. So they had this. You know, I just threw the controller in the trash because it's been broken. Um, <laughs> Basically, like you could twist the D pad and it would become, it would go from being like that eight directional thing to a four directional thing. So Mm. when I would play, I play all my fighting games with those controllers and Marvel vs. Capcom uh, on Xbox Arcade. And I would break the D pads because of the amount of force that I was putting into it. Like it just wasn't meant for like you to use it that way. And so yeah, I went through like four of those controllers, bro. Bro. And they were like like seventy five. When was enough enough for you? What? Yeah, they weren't. They weren't <laughs> I forget. I forget what they weren't like. like Jesus. I guess were they that were they they weren't like the Xbox Elite controller. Like it wasn't like that's what that. I was thinking it was. Nah, that's what nah. it sounds like. Uh. I don't. I don't remember. Um. I forget what it was called. It was silver and adjustable D-pad. Yeah, bro. Like, did you have any like favorite Xbox games or 360 games? Like, yo, you know what I really liked, yo? I really liked. Uh, I really, really liked the original Crackdown. Um, Nick and I would play that for hours at a time, <laughs> like for hours, hours. Um, it's not the game with like Terry Crews now. Yeah, that game is, you know, it's not the same now. No, oh, it's the third one, isn't it? Um, out oh, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it on uh Game Pass, but. I did not play it. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is it right here. So the D-pad, you know, would be the standard, um, you know, eight oh. directional. And you could you could turn it to just make it, you know, four directions. Okay. So it would just be up, down, left, right. You know, and of course you could do your, your rolls and whatnot, but it felt more precise for me. Okay. Um, but yeah, that 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 shit would break like crazy, like crazy. That's dog. dope, though. That's a dope innovation. Yeah, and they weren't. I like never I seen said. this before. This yeah. is the only color they had. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. They probably knew it was breaking on everybody. That's why they didn't make another color. Just like their console. Okay, but the, <laughs> the nah, Xbox man. games. That's you know, uh, but yeah, um. So, you know, really, really, uh, first, first Xbox 
you know, uh, game that I played obviously was Halo. We set mm. up the um, the you know to be having like the the demo like PlayStation and Xboxes and GameStop, mm. you know. So, you know, we played uh, we played Halo. Nick and uh, another one one of our uh, homies that work with us, Curve, they beat it <laughs> at work, which was hilarious. Cause it had a hard, it was you know it had a hard drive you know like everything else yeah, up yeah. until that point it was like ah oh, you know if you played it at work you weren't supposed to you couldn't save because you needed a memory card but you know this had a this had a hard drive in it so they were able to like beat it over time because you would just save it you know? <laughs> there were slow days of shit. yeah man you know um damn what else on Xbox that I really like I really love Fable mm. um I had my daughter playing Fable three the other day. <laughs> Oh, um, she like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, she nice. thought it was cool, um, but she's not gonna play it, you know. Oh. Um, like I was just showing her like what you could do. I was showing her my character and how terrible he is because he just obliterates everything. Um, but other than that, you know, the original Gears of War, you know, Gears of War mm. Two, I thought were phenomenal games. I thought Xbox Three Sixty was one of the best consoles ever made oh ever like yeah, i agree 100%. and and microsoft you know so so here's the thing i i'm all about like everyone having a place at the table you know mm-hmm. like everyone has you know a chance to to sit and dine if you Preach, would brother. you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying and so you know the original Xbox came out. I got it. I want to say maybe two years or a year after I bought it from my friend. Um, cause he didn't want to play it anymore. He just wanted to play final fantasy 11. Mm. That's all he wanted to play. So, you know, I got it from him. Um, and I was playing, um, I think it was a Wolfenstein game, return to Wolfenstein, return to castle Wolfenstein. And that was like, you know, uh, my first experience with Xbox Live. Um, as we played that online with Nick, my old boss, and my old boss. Um, but as far as like exclusive Xbox properties, you know, besides like the Gears, Halo, Crackdown. I just played like on 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 360. I just played mul- like all my multi platform games on there. Yeah, same. Um, much. because I was like, yeah, like I could play them online. Most of my friends had an Xbox at the time, um, and I just played you know PS3, Sony single player exclusives on my PS3. That was it. Everything else got played on on the BZ, as I like to call it. Um, but yeah, Microsoft they just always just do what they do man they just like they just get to this point where it's like they follow the money and then they they show you that they follow the money you know yeah and you know when connect came out it was just kind of like hey listen i know the we is doing well okay <laughs> but listen look, you, no don't 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 go there don't let's nope, put this out no nope, don't do that don't let's <laughs> let's get back to like you pumping out like good good games and you know you know, having having some you know good some good exclusives like let's let's keep doing that. They didn't nope. do that. And they nope. they doubled keep over the Joneses. They doubled down and then they came out with the you know whole TV thing on on Xbox One and they <laughs> just kind of like showed like that they didn't even really care that they did that. So mm-hmm. that's what all it's uh, that's how it's always been with me with Microsoft. It's not that I dislike <laughs> Microsoft. It's just always just like I'm just always waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know, and I'm like, all right, I see that. I see Game Pass. Okay, you know, this, right. is, this is a great thing. So, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna Just do with this? The other side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna <laughs> this up? You know, because <laughs> I, I, you know, I know you're, I know you're gonna do something. You know, and then everyone's gonna be like, "Yo, you were in a good spot. Why did you, you know, do whatever? You know, like you saw the Xbox Live. They were trying to raise the price on Xbox Live. You know." But, Mm -hmm. you know, for me, man, you know, the way I the way right now until, you know, they really have something and and they got they got a lot of studios, you know, for now, I'm just going to utilize the PC version, you know, a game pass Mm -hmm. until there's something that's like, all right, I got to have an Xbox to play it and I'll get an Xbox to play it. Yeah. But for now, 
You know, I, sure. I I appreciate. I love that they have Game Pass on on uh, on here. You know, I imagine they'll have Game Pass. You know, on other devices as well. You know, on refrigerators. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never know, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. Would you get one? A refrigerator. With the Xbox just like built in. No. <laughs> if, if, I mean, if, if I made, if I made the... money like that, then maybe. Yes. But no, like Xbox games for me, yo, like Halo, mm-hmm. Halo Two, right? DOA Three was my shit. Yes. Back in the day. I had this game called Kung Fu Chaos. I know that. It was hilarious. It was a bootleg Smash Brothers boot. Yeah. Hilarious. They had a woman with like an afro and then they had like a fake ninja and and like Hayabusa and all this other shit. But speaking of him, Ninja God in Black was another one I was into. Oh, yeah. Ninja God. Yes. Yeah, man. And then, of course, like like I said, those three games, the NFL Fever, the Fusion Frenzy, the... um, what was the other one? Project Gotham Racing, mm-hmm. Ain't one and two. I had both. Mm-hmm. Um, it was another game I used to play all the time on Xbox. It's, it's escapes me. It was escaping me while I was doing, you know. You never played Fable for this. Well, I guess not. No, wasn't into it. Yeah. I have um, Final Fantasy Thirteen on three hundred and sixty. I beat that, of course. Um, ODST was the best Halo ODST ever made, in my amazing. opinion. Amazing. Um, it was phenomenal. They <laughs> so did so good. So good. Um, the Arkham series, I played mm. all the rock bands, even the Lego yes. one, just to get those songs. Um, Bayonetta was my jam, man. You played I Bayonetta, never played yeah. two. Isn't two on? Uh... It's on the Wii U. Yeah, on the Wii U. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's on the <laughs> Switch now too. I, <laughs> I might get say. it. Um, La Noir, I played the Dark Siders. Uh, I think well, how many the duology or whatever. I think there's three of them now. Oh, now yeah, but back then I think it was only two. And then there also there's a there's a uh, they have the Dark Siders. Uh, it's it's like an over top, over the top um, type of yeah Dark Siders Genesis Genesis. Okay. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. Of course it is. I believe. <laughs> It's co-op. Maybe not. I don't know. Bioshock Infinite was another one I played. I, I loved Bioshock Infinite. That was only Bioshock I played. I never played the first, like, what, two or three? It's co-op. Yeah, I um, I, I remember um, when... Bioshock. I, I remember a lot a lot of those games just being really really much you know about just Microsoft did a really good job in, during that generation just making sure like games ran well while at the same time mm. Sony was just shit in the bed with you know PS3 being like super hard to develop for and you know mm. like Microsoft did a really good job but like I said they just that connect shit man it just yeah, ruined them, and that's when I fell off. And you know, they I didn't have anybody to play with online. All my friends were on PS3, so I just that's the last that was my last hurrah for Xbox Aww. 360. I know I miss it. I miss my 360. Yeah, man. You know. I had to buy two because I had the Red Room. Oh, you you only had you only had to buy two. Yeah, Must be I, nice. I was surprised. That's what somebody else said that too. They was like, "You only bought two? I was like, "Yeah, I only nah. had it once. I bought six of them things, man. My God, I would have stopped that at the third one. Yo, my, my first one, <laughs> my first one died literally like not even a week after I got it. <laughs> oh did, did you did you buy it? You bought it off somebody? No, I bought it from Circus City. Oh my God, Circus City. But did you, <laughs> they had a warranty, didn't they? They had a year warranty with it. Yeah, but it's still like, you know, I had, I had a new console for a week and had to. Send That's it to ridiculous. Microsoft to get it fixed. Crazy. Yeah, I bought six of them things, man. Mm-hmm. Last one I got was one yeah. of the black ones. Yeah, I always had the white one. Yeah, I did too. But but then, then I wanted the black one because those ones didn't have any issues. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, and any fighting game at that time. I was like, well, we, DOA 4 was on 360, so was, right. I was another one. Dude, I used to love DOA so much. Yeah, I never Dead was a alive. fan, man. Oh, man. Even now on, I'm not. It's too much now. Because they, yeah. they had it on, I think they had it on PS2, right? The first one? Yeah, hardcore. DOA 2 hardcore. And the first one. No, the first one was, I think, was on Dreamcast. Dreamcast? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ne- yeah, it was on Dreamcast. Yeah, I never got into it then. Mm-hmm. So when it was on Xbox, I was just kind of like, Looks good, but I don't like these games. Oh man, the countering system was amazing. But yeah, man, that was like I used to love 360 so much. I used to love Xbox. Then, like you said, they just went the casual consumer route with the Xbox with the Xbone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Game Pass is looking up. Yeah, so bro. I might. I might get a. Uh, <laughs> series S. <laughs> so. Nah, man, get it. You know, I wouldn't get a Series S, man. Oh, man. I would get a Series X, it. bro. Because last announcement last week, I was going I, that because we had this discussion. I was like, you know, I might get a Series S. She's like, no, nah, get the, you know, the normal one. I was like, mm, I don't know, because I'm saving up for PS5. But with our announcement last week, I don't know when I'm going to get a PS5. So, yeah, I mean, my, you know, it's just my up the ante. You know, Dominique has a chokehold on that her Xbox One right now. She's playing Quantum Break right now. Oh yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, she loves it so much. I don't know. I just kind of feel like maybe the S in the future won't be, you know, viable. So I don't care. You know, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I bought a Pro in twenty twenty. Yeah, but <laughs> so. you know, that's yeah. It's you know, I'm just saying, like you know, if you gotta. If you got to buy another Xbox because then this one is not, you know, I don't know. Mm. But happy 20th, Xbox. Happy yeah. 20th. Happy 20th. Y'all deserve it. Absolutely. Hopefully it's, will there be a 20 more? Hopefully there will be. Hopefully we continue I to so, uh, have all of our uh, gaming companies viable in 20 years. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. So. That would be that would be rad. Meanwhile, yes, Stadia is about to die already. So you know. Oh, it's not dead yet. Nah, it's not. They they say it. They say <laughs> they said they're fine. You know. So we'll see. <laughs> but yes, yeah, sir. Like... Never mind. <laughs> but I was about to say something super dark. But yes, yeah, sir. That's all I. Uh, that's all I have for you this week. Same here, man. Appreciate you, man, as always. Appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you, you all for uh, joining us on episode 28, All Day I Play Radio, you know? Mm-hmm. And stay tuned. We have more content coming for the interwebs, as mm-hmm. Brian calls them, mm-hmm. on Twitter, Instagram. Keep a lookout on those. And speaking of those, you can follow us at ADIP Radio on Twitter. You can follow us at All Day I Play Radio on all your favorite podcasts and platforms, as well as Instagram. You can also follow me at Moon Knight 9000 on Instagram and 9000 Moon Knight at Twitter. You can follow Brian, the great Brian Pendleton, ladies and gentlemen, at hey. Brian P underscore 83 on both Instagram and Twitter. And please give us a shout out. DM us, DM us of any feedback you may have. If you wanted to talk about something, let us know. We're here for you. We're here for you. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. Isn't that an Xbox slogan? Ah. Uh, Jump in. I don't know what's the last thing I remember. Is that what it is? But peace and love, y'all. Thank peace you so much for listening to episode 28. Appreciate y'all.